so we start the topic of essential medicines what are essential medicines essential medicines are those medicines which satisfy the priority healthcare needs of the population means if we have 100 patients those uh, suppose we have 100 patients those medicines which which satisfy say maximum part say six, more than 70% of the population i'm giving an example uh, of the population those will be essential medicines like maybe some tb drug drug for anti tuberculosis drug some painkiller drug means most of these are common drugs antibiotics those are these those are, they satisfy the health care needs of majority of the population but suppose i give you an example of some drug say which is very very rare okay one those drugs will not be uh, and fall under not fall under the category of essential medicines because they do not they are not needed on a day to day basis so what are essential medicines medicines which satisfy priority health care needs of population okay next next a who who in the year 1977 had given a given a model list of the um, the you know in who in 1977 had given a model list of the essential uh, drugs okay but it was not meant to be a standard uh, you know design it was basically meant to be a um, a, a reference from which the different countries can set up their own personal guidelines and their own personal list of essential medicines because the uh, the diseases are not uh, common and constant all over the world so who had given a model list but they had expected that all countries will give up will have will develop their own um, set of guidelines and their own set of essential medicines now the question is how will you select an essential drug an essential drug how to understand that this is an essential drug it has to be safe the drug has to be safe drug has to be cost effective drug has to uh, be we, 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 the drug has to uh, solve the uh, has to treat a disease which is prevalent in the society okay it should uh, treatment it should be be able to uh, be able to be used under you know local facilities and without much training of the people and uh, it should not need special diagnostics and uh, pharmacokinetics of the drug are also considered so many selection the, for the selection of the drug it has to go through a lot of uh, you know uh, it's many se several factors are seen for the for selecting a drug under uh, for essential for putting it in under the list of essential medicines okay now your park gives that uh, essential medicines ed stands for essential drugs okay so essential drugs are generally single drugs means combinations only used if they have a proven advantage over the single compounds combo only if advantage is proven means essential drugs are generally single drugs single drug compounds combination will be considered to be an essential drug only and only if their combination is considered to be stronger than their original drug now the essential list contains two parts one is the core list one is the complementary list core list is the minimum needs minimum medicines that are needed for the basic healthcare system and what are the complementary list they are they also they they, they have the essential medicines for priority for the priority diseases for which specialized diagnostic or monetary facilities or specialist medical care or specialist training are needed okay so these are the two types of uh, this list will have two types of uh, drugs core drugs and the complementary drugs this is the essential drug list will have two types of drugs the core drugs and the complementary drugs okay now another guideline which has been given is that oral oral drugs 
should not contain sugar because uh, if the if a drug if a drug has to fall under the list of essential drugs then that drug should not contain base as sugar if it is oral drug because it then it cannot be used by you know diabetic patients another guideline it has it has been said that alcohol should not be present if the drug is to be given to children to so if a drug wants to become a uh, false of fall under the category of essential drugs then it should not have alcohol if if it is meant to be for children because obviously nobody wants alcohol children to be exposed to alcohol and it is expected another guideline that is given is that it is expected that uh, drugs for elderly and for children will be you know liquid drugs or chewable drugs okay so these are the guidelines which you with the is with the who had given in 1977 now india gave up have, uh, also developed just like i had told that who had given this list as a uh, model from which all countries were expected to develop their own lists so india set up their own national list of essential drugs india set up their own uh, national list of uh, essential medicines in the year 19 60 and uh, 1996 for the first time okay in the year 1996 india set up the essential list for the first time and more recently latest one has come out in 2011 okay so that uh, ends the topic essential drugs now we come to the second part of the chapter which says counterfeit drugs counterfeit meds Now tell me, what are counterfeit medicines? Counterfeit medicines are those medicines which are produced with the intention to cheat. So drugs produced with intention to cheat. So this is a very simple definition of counterfeit medicine. What are counterfeit drugs? Those drugs which are produced with the intention to cheat. those drugs are only considered counterfeit medicines so very simple drug so in very simple definition it can be both branded drugs means counterfeit both branded drugs can be counterfeit drugs as well as uh, generic dr- generic drugs also can be counterfeit both can be counterfeit okay now tell me what are substandard medicines substandard medicines are those medicines which are genuine products by legitimate manufacturers but they do not meet the quality which is ex- which the quality specifications that the producer says they will meet so what are substandard drugs substandard drugs are genuine medicines okay which produced by by genuine manufacturers genuine drugs produced by genuine manufacturers but do not meet quality so what are substandard medicines these are genuine medicines which are produced by genuine manufacturers but they do not meet the quality specification that the manufacturer says means he will write on the top of the drug that uh, if this is the suppose this has this much x amount of concentration of the drug but uh, he will give say y amount of concentration which is and y is lesser than x so he is telling that he is giving more concentrated drug but he is giving a lesser concentrated drug so that is kind of substandard medicine that is just an example now if i ask you what are the what are the drugs which are commonly counterfeited uh, in this world so if i ask you this then you will have to tell that you have to ask me that uh, which country sir whether developing country or developed country in developing countries the commonly uh, counterfeited drugs are life saving drugs life threatening drugs means drugs for malaria tb hiv these drugs are common na these drugs are so the high demand is there for these drugs so they can they are easily they are usually you know counterfeited and in developed countries the counterfeited drugs are generally lifestyle drugs like obesity drugs 
anti smoking drugs like these drugs are in developing countries malaria drugs tb drug hiv drug these drugs are counterfeited whereas in developed countries obesity and other lifestyle drugs are counterfeited now just to give you an uh, idea about what is the global market and global you know how to what an extent the problem has increased this uh, this market of counterfeiting um, counterfeits consists of 10% of the global medicine market means every 100 medicines that you will prescribe out of them 10 will be counterfeit medicines so such a, the counterfeiting has become such a great problem today just as an example i'll tell in 2006 there was um, high demand for a drug called tamiflu okay because the uh, those avian flu the, because that that time there was high high incidence of avian flu na, and that uh, and that time there was uh, you know public scare for avian flu so there was high demand for tamiflu so what what was happening that many many companies started selling this tamiflu over the net now when it was researched when that uh, those in time flu which were sold on the, over the internet when they were researched and uh, when they were you know um, examined properly it was found that that time flu was basically vitamin c and lactulose lactose so just imagine the level of counterfeiting they are selling it as time flu but basically it is vitamin c plus lactose so this is counterfeiting so this brings us to the end of this small chapter of essential medicines thank you